obviously. Yeah. And the, the kids, are they good to you? Are they nice to you? Are they, is, it, is, it a tough, is it tough? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not tough at all. It's not tough at all? No. This is a free country. That's the beauty of it. So we love America. I mean, you know, it's a great country. Freedom of speech, freedom of choice of your religion. Right. So we don't have any issues. Do you feel more comfortable living under American law or do you feel more comfortable living under uh, Sharia law? Uh, Sharia law. I'm a Muslim, I prefer Sharia law. Sharia law, yes. You prefer uh, Sharia law over American law? Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. And do you find most of your friends uh, say, feel the same way? Yeah, of course, if you're Muslim, yeah. Sharia law, it says if you steal something, they cut off your hand. So basically, they can leave their doors, their stores, doors open. Nobody's going to steal anything because the Sharia is so tight. Usually, they, they don't do anything. The smallest things usually have big consequences. He Time. can make his daughter marry somebody. Yeah, he can. Yeah, he can. He has the authority, you know? The authority to do that. Yeah, to do that. Yeah. So here, how young do you think it's okay? Uh, yeah, 15. How do you feel when, when this whole controversy with the Prophet Muhammad and people depicting the prophet in cartoons, how does the whole thing make you feel? That really pisses me off, you know what I mean? Because it's, I mean, they know it's a button to push. Aleph makes me angry. And uh, it's just that everyone gets like the big freedom and then they don't see that they, they, they're, the freedom that they're getting is causing a problem. Uh, it's casting hatred for other people. Would it be better if we made it illegal in America? to make fun of the Prophet Muhammad? Definitely, yeah. Do you think we should make a law that makes it illegal to... to, to that would be better, yeah. That would be better yeah. to stop, you know, yeah. uh, aggression. I was so upset and I was so mad. They insulted our religion, they insulted our prophet, and we couldn't take it. And they shouldn't be allowed to do that? Oh my God, big time, yes. Do you understand the motivation behind the people then who who strike out violently against people who depict the Prophet Muhammad? Yeah, I understand totally where I'm coming from. Yeah. You understand why they feel motivated to do that? Yes, because when you when you when you every day face frustration and you know uh, every day you have uh, um, uh, you know you mad or somebody say that or you feel hate yourself, you can do anything you want. You you if you commit suicide, you don't care because. You, you, your heart, your heart is telling you, I don't want to live no more because you, you couldn't take that much hate or you, 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 you kill someone. In a way, they kind of deserved it. Yeah, yeah, no, every action has a consequence. Is it right to kill somebody who insults Muhammad? Yeah, because she is just, uh, she hid the religion, I understand, but she shouldn't beat up the prophet, you know? Do so you understand why people would want to attack her? Yeah. If you had a choice, would yeah. you rather live here or would you rather live in the Muslim country? I'd rather live in a Muslim country with my people. Would you prefer to live in America or prefer to live in Somalia? For me, I think it's Somalia. Yeah. You'd prefer to live in Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Would you rather live in America or live in Somalia? I would rather live in Somalia. I'm not Americanized. I just I just speak fluent and I'm, you know what I mean? I'm articulate and I can articulate what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean? That's about it. But other than that, I mean, as far as my culture and my preferences and everything, it's still Somalia, you know what I mean? Even, uh, yeah, even though here you have all the freedom and stuff like that? And even though I have all the freedom. Do you think life might be better in Somalia than, mm -hmm, than here? Because you now you have the, uh, the freedom of, it, of, of practicing your religion right. while working and doing your other things. So you have the freedom of practicing your religion in Somalia or in Muslim countries. And yet they're in Minnesota, this very state I live in that are saying this and they talk about how they love our freedom in the beginning of that and they love the abilities that they have and the chances that they have to do things here but if you if you're if you offend their faith in Mohammed or whatever then that's a bad thing and that they have the right to kill you and they get so upset and offended well what happens with a christian uh, I'm, I don't have the right to get offended if uh, Jesus Christ is mocked all day long on TV or mocked by all these people, by Obama or whoever. Oh, I'm not supposed to get offended by that. I don't want to kill, of course, because my Lord is a much stronger Lord who is the Prince of Peace, not war. But the thing is, is 
these people are talking freely about how uh, it's okay to literally kill somebody if they're mocking their prophet. But I don't see, I, I don't understand how that's an okay thing to say that and basically to tell people on the news that it's okay to kill somebody for that. But Jesus Christ gets mocked all day long everywhere you go and we're, supposed to, we're not supposed to say a thing. And I bet you if you told these people that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, these people in this very same audio clip, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that Mohammed is not, they would get offended and probably have the same reaction. They would want to kill you too because that's not true according to them. And that's insane. This, this, is, this is why this country is becoming so so insane with all these killings and shootings and stuff is because people are getting offended so easily and they assume that the american hates them or or the american it's just so it's just they're putting the wrong types of people in the in next to each other and the outcome of that is usually going to be disagreements and then murder and killing or whatever or whatever violent acts against those people and they're doing this on purpose these muslim people i don't hate them and i understand in fact i respect them they get offended that their religion is being mocked okay i respect that okay i know you don't like to have your religion mocked okay i respect that but i don't like to have mine but according to the way the world works all religions are equal, and left, except if it's Christianity. Christianity is lesser than all, for some reason. Now, someone's got to explain to me why Christianity is a lesser religion than all these other ones, even though we're supposed to be all equal. Coexist, you know? We're supposed to all coexist together. But Christianity is lesser. Just by people's actions and how they treat Christians and on TV and movies and just media in general. If Christians, if this is really a Christian nation, then why are Christians being treated like basic, basically like animals when it comes to the religion? They're just, they're just ignorant. They don't understand. They got that old faith. They got that old, you know, hate speech and you're radical, you know, it, this type of stuff is starting to be, to be said about Christianity. My point is, is, they're trying to bring about the end of Christianity, and by doing so, they have to bring in all these other religions from all around the world, and different races and people from all around the world, so that we're it's kind of just blended right out. And of course, Muslims have more uh, children than Christians these days. I mean, me, honestly, about me personally, I don't really want to have a child. And it really makes me mad because so I think about this, and I know my wife would like to have a child, but a part of me is like, God, why would I bring a child into this world? I mean, maybe that's not a very Christian type of point of view, but honestly, if I'm going to be honest with you, I don't want to bring a child into this mess None of these uh, politicians or leaders are thinking about the future for any children. There's no future. The only future there is, is a government that controls everything. Do I want to bring a child into that? The schools that teach gay sex and all this twisted that Allah is God. Schools teaching this, Common Core, all this crap. Do I really want to bring a child into that? And I mean, Lord, forgive me, but boy, I tell you, I, I can't, I just can't do it. I can't see it that way. I, I'd rather adopt. But Muslims are having children. The point is, the next generation is going to be more Allah worshipping than ever before. If the scenario plays out the way it is right now, that's how it's going to be. 
there's going to be a lot less Christianity and a lot more of Allah worship, uh, Muslim, or other religions even. But Christianity is going to phase out a little bit because of the fact that more of these other religions are having children and teaching their children other religions instead of Christianity. And our government in general is set against Christianity, so they're not going to promote that. So as time progresses in the next 15 to 20 years, we're going to see an overwhelming amount of other religions having a lot more rights than Christians. And eventually I think that that's what will happen, is they're going to just turn on the Christians. And Christians are going to be completely either taken into camps and you put into uh, FEMA camps or whatever and just taken away. Like Hillary Clinton said, you know, fun camps for everyone. Fun camps. And Democrats can run them. Well, that's what Hillary talks about. And I believe that that's what she really means. They're going to be fun camps, all right. And they're going to be brainwashing camps where they're going to try and get Christians, those hate speech people, to either bow down to the state religion which is government is God, or they're just going to have to die, just like what they did with the Jews in the Nazi war. So I think that's where it's going. And it doesn't surprise me because according to Jesus, we will be hated by all nations. Well, if those nations are not Christian nations, per se, uh, they're not going to like Christians because they're going to hate Christians after the fact that we are not of their religion or whatever. And the way the world is going right now, to be honest, I will be surprised if America is even surviving in the next 20 years. I mean, Russia is doing tests or whatever to see, to get as many people into bunkers as possible right now. They're doing drills to get, I can't remember the number, but it's extremely like millions of people to go into bunkers, nuclear bunkers. You gotta ask yourself if if you've heard of that in the last twenty five years. I don't think we have. That's new. So what do they know that the American people don't know? Because American people are not being told to ha- do drills of going into bunkers. In fact, I don't know where a bunker is for regular people like you and me. Russia might know something that we don't, considering that America doesn't tell the people of America anything. They just let us just. If there was a nuclear war. The government would disappear and the people would die because they would let us die. Whereas Russia, at least they care about their people. I don't agree with Russia either completely. But my point is, is there's something going on. The world is turning against America and they're uniting against us. And if we are, we might be that great city that gets destroyed in Revelation, Babylon. We might be the Babylon talked about that gets destroyed in one hour. Well, anyway, I think that about sums up everything that I was trying to get into. Uh, That's about it for the show. Well, thank you for listening. If you enjoy this show, please feel free to share it. You can find us on Spreaker, iTunes, and most podcatchers. And if you'd like to support the show, please leave a review on iTunes or Spreaker or wherever you find this show. And for more information on this show, go to the Fringianity Underground podcast Facebook group and like us. Images will be posted there for this show and others as well. Please check Spreaker or wherever you get this podcast every Sunday evening for new episodes. And thank you for listening.